Welcome to my second vlog about my dream to get in my farm. I hope you were able to watch the first one where I talked about uh, a little bit about my dream and about some things that I might want on my farm. Now in future vlogs, I'm going to tell you more in detail about some of the things that I want on my farm. But in this one, I want to tell you about where the farm will be. Now, it may come as a surprise to you, uh, but I hope you'll bear with me. But I think my farm will be in Chile. I know, I know. Why would I want to have a farm anywhere but in the U.S.? Obviously, every other place, some people may think you have sewer running down the street, people living in mud huts. Well, actually, Chile is a very modern country. Uh, they actually rank higher than us in economic freedom. Uh, it's the most prosperous country in South America, and they have all the modern conveniences that we have. They have smartphones and everything else. There are several reasons why I would want my farm in Chile, so don't tune out just yet. Just give me some time. It's one of the first and most important reasons is that Chile has very clean water and clean air. In fact, the cleanest water they've ever found on earth is in a lake in southern Chile. And with an organic farm, I think it's important to have clean air and clean water. Uh, another reason that I think Chile is a great place is it's a beautiful country. They have lots of mountains. They have all different types of mountains. They have uh, lakes, rivers. They have an ocean that runs along there. And I think it would just be a beautiful place to live and to have people come visit. It's also fairly reasonably priced. It's, it's not cheap like some countries are. Uh, there are countries where you can buy ground very, very cheaply. But it's reasonably priced. It's not way out of range. And also Chile has a relatively low regulation. I'm one of those that I'm not real fond of the government telling me what to do. I know we have to have some regulation, but I think in this country we have way too much. And Chile has a lot less regulation. They have enough that everything's pretty safe there, you know, it's safe to drink the water, it's safe to eat the food, but it's not stifling. It's not like you have somebody telling you what to do all along the way. Another thing about Chile is it's a very safe country. You know, if you look across the board, crime rates in Chile are actually lower than they are across the board in the United States. And Chileans are very family oriented. They're very friendly. And so I think it's a very safe place for families to go and to be there. And I'm willing to tell you, I'm actually planning on going down to Chile about the middle of January. So after that, I'll have videos and be able to show you some of the options that I've looked at for farms. And so you can see it as I see it. Now be sure to subscribe and tell your friends to watch and subscribe and see how this all plays out because this really is live. I don't know how it's going to end, but you will find out pretty much just about as soon as I do if you continue to watch these. So, Let's go on this journey together and just see how it all ends.